Hey, this is Presh Tallwalker, and you're watching Mind Your Decisions. Here's a really neat problem from a German math competition. Start out with triangle ABC and its inscribed circle. We'll draw a tangent to this inscribed circle and label its points D and E. The diagram is not to scale. In triangle ABC, AB is equal to 3, BC is equal to 5, and CA is equal to 6. DE is tangent to the incircle or inscribed circle of the triangle ABC. What is the perimeter of triangle CDE? Again, this comes from a German math competition known as the Kangaroo der Mathematik. You had to solve 30 problems in 90 minutes with no calculator. Can you figure it out? Give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for a solution. Before I explain the solution, I want to go over a key geometric principle. Segments tangent to a circle from an exterior point are equal. So consider a circle, and we'll take an exterior point A. We'll draw a tangent to the circle at point B, and we'll draw another tangent to the circle and label that point C. We want to prove that the length of AB is equal to the length AC. How do we do that? Well, because the line segments are tangent to the circle, we can draw radii, each with the length of the radius of the circle r, that form right angles at points b and c. So here's a right angle at point b, and we can do the same thing to point c. And each of these segments have length r because they are radii of the same circle. Now we'll connect A to the circle center with length W. Because we have right triangles, we can use the Pythagorean theorem. We can calculate that AB is equal to the square root of W squared minus R squared, and AC has the same length. Thus, AB is equal to AC. So we're going to use this principle many times to solve this problem. So how can we figure out the perimeter of triangle CDE? Well, let's look at the pertinent parts of the question. And now, let's think about what we need to solve for. Let's suppose this tangent point is labeled F, this tangent point is labeled G, and the tangent point between DE and the incircle is J. Now suppose ej is equal to x. By the principle of equal tangents, ge is also equal to x. Suppose that dj is equal to y. By the principle of equal tangents, df is also equal to y. So if we want to calculate the perimeter of triangle CDE, this will be CD plus CE plus the length of DE. This will be equal to CD plus Y plus CE plus X. But we know that CF is equal to CD plus Y and CG is equal to CE plus X. So we can substitute these in to get that the perimeter is equal to CF plus CE plus X, which then simplifies to be CF plus CG. We can make one more simplification. In particular, CF is equal to CG because of the principle of equal tangents. Therefore, the perimeter of triangle CDE is equal to 2 times CF. So this is one way to see that the perimeter of the triangle is equal to 2 times CF. But there's another way that you could come to this conclusion. So let's go back to our original diagram. Now let's imagine that we move this line DE so that it's still tangent to the incircle, but it's never specified where this line has to be. So let's try and get a limiting case. Imagine that we move E towards C. Now, according to the problem, this 
triangle will still have the same perimeter, and we can continue to move E towards C. And in the very limiting case, we get E is exactly equal to C, and then CD becomes a tangent to the in-circle. So if we label this tangent point as F, we have the D and F are coincident. So since CE is equal to zero, the perimeter of this triangle, CD plus DE plus CE, is equal to CF plus CF, which is equal to two times CF. So this is an alternate way to see the perimeter of triangle CDE is also equal to two times CF. Now, how can we solve for two times CF? Well, let's let CF be equal to P over two. This is because it's the perimeter over two. Now let's label our tangent points of the in-circle as G and H. And now what can we do from here? Well, by the principle of equal tangents, CG will also be equal to P over two. Next, since BC is equal to five, BG will be equal to five minus P over two. Then we use the principle of equal tangents to get that BG and BH are equal to five minus P over two. We then use that AB is equal to three. So we get that AH is equal to P over two minus two. Then we use the principle of equal tangents to get that AF is also equal to P over two minus two. Finally, we have that CA is equal to six. But we have another expression for CA and that's equal to P over two minus two plus P over two. So we can solve this equation that P is equal to eight. And that's exactly the perimeter of triangle CDE. By walking around this triangle using the principle of equal tangents, we figured out the perimeter of triangle CDE. Did you figure it out? Thanks for watching this video. These math videos inspire and build confidence for people around the world, and they've already gained over a hundred million views. I think this goal merits millions of subscribers and billions of views. Please help make this possible. Subscribe for free to get the newest videos, watch and share all of Mind Your Decisions videos, and email me a math topic or puzzle suggestion at presh at mindyourdecisions.com. If you like this video, you can check out my books, which are listed in the video description. And if you so choose, you can financially support this cause on Patreon to earn exclusive rewards. Thanks for watching and thanks for your support.